Well, we got these bulkhead fittings. Um, we decided to go bulkhead. You could make your own out of electrical conduit. Um, through some of the research I did, it says to use electrical conduit because the, it has straight threads as opposed to angled threads, so you're going to get a better seal. Anyway, the first thing we have to do, we're, we're running above ground pipe in from the tank to the troughs with the exception of trough 3 to trough 4 because it's in front of the doorway so we want to bury that pipe over there so first thing we're going to do is well I've already done it so I've trenched this out <coughs> so I just dug a trench deep enough for the pipe to go under. It doesn't need to go all the way underground, extremely deep or anything like that. And um, we'll pour sand over it. Just just enough to cover it, just so nobody's tripping over it. And I cut pipe. <clears throat> it's not glued together yet, so I'll show you how to do that. So I have my bulkhead fitting on one end which will be the connection in trough 3. So we'll run out of this trough into the bulkhead fitting. We'll, we'll install that in there. We're going to um, turn 90. <laughs> 90 degrees straight down. We, uh, we look for sweeps like this one here. This is a sweep as opposed to a an elbow. It's a little bit of a more gentle turn, which will make the water flow less restricted and save electricity on the pumping. It just it makes everything more you know, move smoother through the system. But we couldn't find any of these. We had some of these left over from our fish tank aquaponics system that we've disassembled. It was a I think a 50 gallon fish tank. We bought these in Illinois. I don't know, maybe they don't sell them here. Anyway, so we're going to come through the bulkhead fitting, go straight down, go into the ground. We have a little piece here that I can't seem to get out. <laughs> okay, so the pieces are that. Bulkhead fitting, elbow, little joiner. We'll run it back that way. We cut this long piece that will run under the ground. We'll connect in there. We'll sweep back up out of the ground. We'll do a 90 back into this bulkhead fitting going through that tank right there. It'll sit just like that. If you want to get a shot of that from over here. Okay, so <clears throat> what I've done is place my pipe into the hole. Everything's just fit together, not glued yet. Find the position that I want my bulkhead. It's going to go right there. Let me go. <laughs> so what I'll do is... Mark the outside where I want it. So now I have the outer ring tray. So now I can remove this, take this off, move the pipe out of the way, line that up with the outer ring, and draw the inner circle right there. Now I have my bulkhead where I'm going to drill. Um, hole saw 101. Probably a lot of people know this, but 
I'll go through it. Um, you have an auger, arbor, you have an arbor, <laughs> and a hole saw. Um, we've talked to uh, aquatic ecosystems, and for the one and a half inch bulkhead fitting, they told us to use a two and three eighths size hole, which this is a two and three eighths size hole saw. So you take your arbor. I'm gonna slide that back and threads, and threads over here, male, female, and it just screws in and clicks in there. So now you have a drill head, a, a drill bit here to start your hole. Get that centered, and then the outer teeth will make the actual hole. So I located the center of my hole scientifically. <laughs> Just gonna put this drill bit in there, and I want to make sure that I don't drill into the liner. I'm going to take it nice and slow. Alright, about to cut my liner. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Bulkhead fitting. One... What was that? One rubber washer. So, I'll just tighten that up with a pipe wrench when I find it. <laughs> and uh, there you go.